So basically we're hitting a 50, 150 degrees, give or take. Right now we got it in the center. So our main pot, or whatever you want to call it, we're going to use this cooler. Now, if you're anything like me, you've got old coolers laying around not doing anything. Well, today this one's got a purpose. It's going to, it's going to scald some chickens. So a cooler, you can use a plastic tub. People say, what? Well, doesn't it get too hot to melt the plastic? No, no it doesn't. You'll need a piece of just a little piece of wire, that's way too much, but that's just what I have on hand. Now, need an element. There's our element here. This is for 120 volt. Old schoolers let me call it 110. Same thing on the thermostat. This is a 110 thermostat. Now this one only goes up to 150 degrees, okay? But that's all we need to scald a chicken. Now, a lot of people ask, what about water getting on it? I've got this outside electrical box. It's got a seal. That should go over our element, and I'll have one going over this thermostat. You'll need a jigsaw, some kind of yard stick. Drill's gonna be handy. Not all necessary, but it's going to be handy. So let's get started. So th this is your element. This is what actually heats up your heats up the water. This is stick in the cooler. Wires come in and hook it up. All right, so we drilled two pilot holes here and here. That's roughly an inch. Reason being. That's for our element right there across the top that's one inch wide. So now I'm gonna take this jigsaw, we're gonna cut our hole out. One thing to watch. That says up. I'm not sure why, but we're gonna put it up. This also comes with a little gasket. Now we'll see if we can get this lined up right. And these screws, they're like sheet metal screws. They got a little washer right here also. These shouldn't be long enough to penetrate all the way through. Two screws. I'm just going to put two in. One on the corners. So now, that's what we're looking at. back to this little thermostat of course you can see you got your temperature we'll have to increase it this is just interrupter is all it is of power so this is basically the sensor so what I've done is I've taken a uh, paddle bit and you see how thin that plastic is on coolers the rest of it's insulation I mean that's basically on both sides but I'll show you what we've got here. There's a hole that goes all the way through. I forgot to tell you, you're probably going to need some silicone. I always use silicone anytime you're done with water. Always have some on hand. So I'm going to make basically a gasket of silicone coming around this. Gotta go tight. And it's only a place for two screws. 
and then we'll put our outside cover and I actually had to modify it. I had to widen this out. So when that's sitting on there, this will go over it all nice and flush and whatnot. Okay, so I got some silicone. We don't want that silicone to cover this hole. That's where the temperature, the water hits that, expands and contracts a little disc in there that tells, tells the element when to quit running. So you don't want to cover that, that little hole up. And I'm just going to shoot some, I just got some old sheetrock screws, some short ones, like one inch or something, inch and a quarter, because if I don't have to penetrate this cooler, I'm not going to. And I've got this long extension on because when I go to put this box on, it just makes it easier where you can actually reach in there a little bit. And I don't know if you can, but we see the silicone squishing out. That looks good. But you know, we can always add silicone on the outside if you do happen to have a little leak teardrop not a biggie uh, and I did have to drill a hole here in this box that way you will see later when I run wire So maybe this is all making sense, but it will eventually, I promise. So now we're gonna run wire. And I think I showed you in the beginning like some yellow Romex I had, a scrap piece. And then I thought about it, I had something a little better. So what I found is an old extension cord. Both ends were cut off. I put in just another male on this. So we won't need a female. This is going to go straight to our, our thermostat. So I stripped it off. Notice the green wire. The green wire is gone. <clears throat> and I'll, spl I'll, sh I'll show you the the full picture when I get it wired. You don't want to sit here and really watch me wire this thing. But I'll explain what we did. So this is where we're at. This is our main power coming in. Black, I use black as the hot. But that black is coming into this top screw. Top screw right here. Power in, power out. So I just got a single black wire come around da 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 it does not matter which wire you put where so i just come out because we had a black and a white went to the screw then my other black wire so i just run a single strand from the bottom to the other side of the element pretty simple so now, instead of just having that, the reason I use this cord, and I've got junk everywhere. This is probably a 25 foot cord. Make, making good use of something that was probably junked. So now here's your set screw. I don't know if you can get a... So that's max right there, 150. Now you can buy a commercial grade thermostat, and it'll go up to like 180, 190. And we may upgrade and do that one day, but right now, I mean, you can pick the, you can pick these up anywhere, any little hardware store, anywhere. 
So now we're going to put this little cover on. So we got the covers put on, and this should keep us out of the any water from coming in, just to protect it. We're hoping anyway. So now all we got to do is test this bad boy. see what happens all right so we're ready for the test it just so happens this thing's got a little built-in cord holder how about that so just like a regular treat like a water heater you know basically that's what it is we don't want any power to it until we have water in it the water has went past the element if not, you'll burn your element out. So let's fill, let's fill this bad boy with water. So basically we're hitting a 50, 150 degrees, give or take. Right now we got it in the center. So this little cheap $20 scalder is working. If I had to do over again, I probably would have moved that element down more center or toward the bottom. We do have to stir the water a little bit to keep it consistent. But I mean, it's, it's working. So there's your scalder for 20 bucks.